All right, good evening, everyone. I just wanted to follow up with the final day of the Orb Avalanche hitting us and the epic tier 14 rewards that it has. Uh, this is the final push, the last few hours or day of time to get some more points and push for those last few rewards. So I want to check in, show you where I'm at, uh, how far I've made it, and then uh, show you my final push here to get the last bit of rewards. So as you can see here, I made it to 29.65 points so far. Uh, that was with me hoarding, you know, 100 plus orange uh gear orbs which gave me you know a lot of those points about a third of it uh i had just a few premiums and red stars and stuff uh laying around and then um i've had you know i i think i was i was not holding purple gear orbs very long i think i only saved like you know a dozen or so of those so uh, a lot of this a lot of these points have come from you know the events that they've done with the uh, orb blitzes and then all the you know, cheap offers and core offers that they've had for some of these orbs. I bought some of the gold and uh, gold orbs and stuff for cores. You know, it gives you like two orbs for 425 cores. Not a terrible deal. Uh, but if it helps you hit another milestone here and there, uh, it can add up over, you know, a week's time. So uh, where I am, I'm trying to get these last few um, sets of points here to finish off the tech gear because i do love tech characters and i would love to get some to tier 14 for dark dimension 3 and just in general because uh, they hit a whole lot harder and there are some big big power gains in the tier 14 tier uh just from doing you know one or two gear pieces like i did ultron's uh big damage i think it added like you know 500 damage or something silly uh in his bottom left piece of gear and that costs a ton of these things so it's really good to have a lot of them on hand. Uh, we're going to need a lot more than just what it takes to do Dark Dimension 3. We're going to want quite a few just to improve our characters, make them stronger for you know, U7 or whatever else they throw at us in the future. So uh, without further ado, let's switch over to the calculator uh, sheet, which I'm sure you're familiar with. Uh, let me bring this forward and um, show you what I've done here. So I've uh, updated my information. So I added 2965 as my current point total. Uh, if I want to finish out the milestones all the way, I need 685 points. So looking at my inventory, I have 12 red star orbs. Um, <clears throat> And I have a couple of things. Oh, I'm sorry. I totally forgot. They uh, gave us three countdown orbs today. And so let me bring this back uh, frontwards. And um, basically we should pull these today because while they don't count towards the milestone orbs, they do give us more orb fragments. Look at that. There's another gold orb for me. So there's 10 points. Um, they have great drops in them. I got a thousand of the uh, Elite Four credits from one of these orbs the other day. Uh, so that's been really nice. And uh, if they give you another couple of orbs, well, there's, you know, a few more points towards uh, your next goal. The other thing is, uh, and I should have done this, um, pulling your gold uh, challenges gets you a little bit more gold orb uh, credits. And then uh, here's the orb thing as well. So there's a couple. Uh, oh, look at that. You get a whole bunch more in the challenges. Uh, that basic is lit up for the event of extra basic orbs but uh it's not actually dropping them anywhere outside of the regular campaign so open your orbs get your last little bit of points oh yeah that's nice get some america chavez farming out of the way and get your final tally and then we're going to go do some math to figure out how to best use the remainder of our resources to maximize our uh, milestone points so i'm just pulling these real fast um just to get them out of the way um, since I know I need that stuff anyway, I might as well use it. As you can see here, I don't have any more Ultimus shards uh, towards another, or I need a lot more to get another uh, orb. Uh, I want to sit on my Red Star orbs because I'm saving them for Black Bolt and Yo-Yo. Uh, but if I have to open them to get one more uh, milestone, it may be worth it. And so that's what I'm going to show you here. So obviously Blitz orbs aren't worth a whole lot, but uh, they also don't have a lot of value, honestly, because the pool just gets larger when they add characters and you know i think there's already like 15 characters or something in that pool so it's like you know they add one more great you got one in you know 12 or 16 or whatever shot of you know potentially getting the character
character you want. Uh, same with raid orbs. There's quite a few characters in there, so I think I'll pull these as well. But I just want to show the methodology behind the math for this and explain it and kind of walk through it and show a little bit of an addition that I made for ultimate shards. So without further ado, let's go back here. Um, we will, let's see, order this up. Nope, not that one. Uh, bring this one forward. There we go. All right, so you can see this calculator a little better. So I still got my 12 red star orbs. I've got 38 blitz orbs. I have five raid orbs. I don't have any more gear orbs, I don't think. Not today. Um, so hopefully we finish our, our raids early and uh, get a little bit more. But uh, yeah, we'll see about that. Um, and then I don't have much else, but I do have a lot of uh, arena credits saved up. So we'll talk through this here. So the first thing I want to do is figure out how much I need uh, to get to the next couple of milestones. So that's, you just go in here, get your current total, 29.96. So that gave me another 31 points there. Uh, and I need 654 if I want to max out the tech gear. I really only need 54 to hit the next milestone. And then I'm looking, uh, and that's, that's easy to get. Uh, I could get that any number of ways. So my arena credits, I could get, you know, 111 orbs for them for, you know, 222 points, essentially. Uh, I could use my Blitz Orbs, which I think I will. I have 38 of them. That gives me 76. So that at least gets me to this milestone easily. But then if I want to push for the next one, well, I'm thinking, where am I going to get 300 more credits? So this is what I devised. Uh, I went to my roster in my spreadsheet here. And I updated it with the amount of shards I have on these characters and made sure that their star level was accurate. Now, if you are using the MSF, you know, roster by IM group, um, this one, if you copy it here, this is a brand new addition to this thing. I just made it tonight. Uh, this thing will take the name of the character that you put in here. It'll automatically check your roster sheet if you're using the same, uh, well, near same version of what I'm using. And pull in the number of stars that you have on them. It'll pull in the number of shards from this roster column here. That's this shards column and column V. And what it will do is it will say, okay, shards needed for next star. So if you're not at six stars, this is just to help you kind of understand how many you need. And then it's saying shards needed for seven stars. And this is all formula. So I've already put in all of the uh, options potentially, even if it's just a one star character, it'll still show you that you need, you know, potentially 795 shards minus whatever number of shards you currently have in your inventory. And what it does is it spits out how much you have overage, right? So if I were to rank up my Winter Soldier from rank star 6 to 7, it's going to use up 300 of my shards, right? So that means I have 316 left over. So 316 times 18, which is how many shards you get for an Ultimus Orb every time you have extra shards, that'll give me 500 or 5,688 Ultimus shards towards an orb. Right. So that means that's worth 2.844 Ultimus Orbs, basically, if I were to rank up my um, Winter Soldier for 500,000 gold, which is over here on the right, how much gold you need to rank up the guys based on your current star rank for that character, and then the potential milestone points of doing so. Right. So that's the other part of this equation is what, what do I actually get out of this? OK, so for 500K gold. I could upgrade my Winter Soldier and get essentially about 50 points, right, give or take, depending on whether or not I hit that next orb, which I would need, you know, uh, another 322 shards to do. If I can get that, say I get three orbs out of it, so I'd be right around 60 points if I get three orbs out of it, which would be great. So that's 60 points, right? And I have several other characters that I have not upgraded to seven star. So Nebula, for instance, I have 804 shards on her. She's six star. So that'd be 504 extra shards if I upgrade her to seven. That would give me about 90 points, give or take, depending on whether or not I finish the uh, last orb from those shards. Now, if I were to do this on several of my characters, um, there's a couple down here at the bottom that will generate quite a few um, <laughs> orbs. Uh, let's see, what is it? Monstrosity. I think I have, yeah, 1,044 or, uh, shards on him. That's character shards. But the problem is he's only rank four, right? <laughs> so that means I have to start him up to five, six, and seven. So that costs me, I think it's around 900,000 gold. 
and then uh, the leftover shards that you would get would actually be uh, so that would be negative 414 um, so that would be oh, oh, 414 extra right so if I'm looking at these numbers the big ones are Hydro Scientist at 538 Nebula at 500 those are 96 and 90 points so that would be 180 and then these two down here, uh, Rifle Trooper and Aim Monstrosity, will give me quite a few because it's 439 414 extra. So if I were to spend that, though, uh, it would cost me 900000 to upgrade these two, whereas these guys are only a million. So the cost per shard varies based on how many shards you have left over and how many star ranks you need to go up. So that's what I'm trying to show here with this calculator and illustrate exactly what you're paying for, right? How many points are you getting? Is it worth it really? And is it even going to get you the next milestone? So you do have to do a little bit of math here. In the event that you are not using this roster organizer spreadsheet, which I know a lot of people are not, you can still copy this out and use the yellow section that I highlighted here. You can name your character over here and put in the star rank or shards here. Well, actually, you need both for these formulas to pick up, and it will automatically calculate all this for you. So just going left to, to right across the board there, do those two columns, and look at the numbers that are generated. So when I'm doing this, I'm thinking, oh, man, well, there's some here that don't even have the right amounts for me to get to seven stars, so I can delete them, right? So any that are negative over here do not possess enough shards to hit seven stars. So that's why I'm going to get rid of Stitcher. And I wouldn't pay to invest in Stitcher anyway. So what's the point? No point in having them there, right? Now there's some of these that are so low, like Hand Blade Master. Uh, I don't really need them. 8.4 milestone points for 900,000 gold isn't worth it. So I'm going to clear him out as well. Remove him from there, as well as Okoye, who only gives me 35 extra shards. And probably Hydra Armored Guard, I don't think I'll need. I definitely don't need Killmonger's 28 shards. Um, that's not necessary. But this is a uh, pretty easy way to evaluate your roster. Another thing you can do is when you go into the roster, use this little um, the bottom filter there and go to the very bottom and hit Star Rank Progress. And I'll sort your guys by their star ranks. So anyone who's ready to level up will show up here in their own little uh, section which is really convenient for looking through your characters that you need in order to get these ultimate shards so now i'm at the point where i'm like well okay i've taken out all the junk i'm definitely not going to upgrade imbaku for 20 points um, i'm definitely not going to upgrade hydra armored guard for you know 93 shards which is one well i guess it's uh yeah about <laughs> Uh, one third of an orb maybe um, so we'll get rid of him I'm just gonna go ahead and pull him out here it's really easy for me to pull him back because all I have to do is just put their names in and then um, I'm not gonna do Mbaku either uh, I just don't have the gold for it anyway um, that's another part of this equation is you need to look at your gold I have three million currently so at most I can't even do all these guys <laughs> Excuse me. Man, so now I'm trying to figure out, well, where is my best, uh, or where best are my resources spent? Um, so when I look at that, I think, well, okay, so upgrading Nebula and Hydra Scientist seem like the no-brainers, right? I get the most bang for my buck. I'm going to get probably a total of, let's see, four, four, eight, and then maybe almost another for a nine. So that would give me 180 points towards my milestones and that would help me get to potentially the mutant milestones um, for the tier 14 gear so let's go ahead and do that uh, as much as i don't like wasting money on characters like this uh, it is necessary in order to get these tier 14 rewards because to me i'm just spending you know a million gold to get a bunch of tier 14 stuff right so when i do that yeah she bumps up a little bit and she's now maxed um, I back out and back out to my supply store and you can see here I got uh, let's see did I calculate it right yes 9072 Ultima shards that's great all right so I'm gonna do the same for Hydra scientist and where is he there he is so 838 I got the right numbers here so I should get uh, quite a few shards for this dude He's got five red stars, too, so I don't really mind doing that so much. Not the worst thing. But those Ultima shards are going to be valuable. So there's 538 Ultima shards, all right? 
9,684. Wow. All right. So let's scroll to the bottom here and let's pull these Ultimus Orbs. I got 10 Ultimus Orbs out of that because I already had uh, several. Uh, or I think I had 1,200 credits or so. The other thing is on my sheet here, I'm going to remove Nebula and I'm going to remove Tired of Scientists because now they are no longer needed, right? So then I can grab these two, copy, paste them up here, and then remove those formulas. And then if I need to, I can redrag these formulas down to those characters just to keep the sheet all nice and uh, good looking. And uh, if you need to, just recopy the formulas in. Go for it. Um, okay, so... Now I'm going to pull these 10 orbs for, let's see, that should be about 200 points, right? Let's switch back here to blue stacks. I got thing. That's actually really nice. Uh, and the other thing is, is I might get some more Ultimus shards out of these Ultimus orbs, which of course with Luke Cage there, I did. Next thing, um, there's Gamora. So there's some more Ultimus shards. Um, you know, I'd love to get some for a character I actually need, but yeah, you know, what are you going to do? Getting closer to the ultimate seven star though. <laughs> All right, five more orbs, and I am pushing hard here, trying to get all these points and just rack them up. <clears throat> all right, two more to go. Uh, oh, Chavez, I don't have her seven stars. That's nice. And there we go, Black Panther. That's more dupes. So let's go to supplies and collect those. We got one more Ultimus Orb, so we might as well just pull it and then re-update our current point total, right? There's no reason to hang on to these right now if we're not at max milestones. So uh, let's go ahead and pull. I don't know what was causing that dot to show up there. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I claim my bio tier 14. Now I'm at 32.16, so let's uh, let's go back here. Let's go ahead and throw in our new point total. I need 434 more points to finish this off. Now, I could do this a couple of different ways. Um, you can see here in my Ultimus Orb calculator, uh, Winter Soldier would give me a potential of 56 points, but for 500k. Right, so that's about 8,790 gold per point. Whereas Hydra Rifle Trooper will give me 79 points if I upgrade him because he's at four stars though, it costs 900K, which is 11,390 gold per point, which is not bad, um, certainly. Oh, hey, I got another free orb. Woohoo! <laughs> But the thing is, you just have to look at these and think about, well, you know, is it really worth it? Oh, sweet. You know, let's uh, grab all this stuff. That might give me another orange orb. And nope, not quite. Damn. <laughs> just scrapping, scraping for everything I can get. <laughs> all right. So uh, let's look at this real quick. So we got monstrosity is 150k to upgrade at uh, four stars. So it'll cost me that 900k. So I could get potentially if i spent uh, let's see 1. or 2.3 million gold on these guys i could get um let's see a total of about well really it's five ultimus orbs which is worth about 200 points right because uh this quarter of an ultimus orb may or may not turn into an ultimus orb unless i can find shards somewhere else which is unlikely at this point so if I wanted to, I could get another 200 points, and that would be half of the 434 I need to finish this milestone, right? And given the amount of tier 14 gear, spending 2.3 million uh, isn't that bad. It's pretty expensive, but it's cheaper than actually buying this stuff with gold at this point, right? For how far in I am. But I do have some other options. First thing is, I can pull Blitz Orbs to get 76 points, right? So let's say I do that, right? And that would put me at, let's see, so that would give me close to 3,300. Uh, I'd still need, you know, about 350 points. So I could pull a bunch of Arena Orbs and get some more that way. Um, which wouldn't be so bad, um, but I'm going to go ahead and start pulling some of these, right? Uh, there's no reason to sit on some of this stuff. Uh, my raid orbs probably aren't going to turn into Asgardian shards, so I might as well just grab these now while I can. There were two points a piece, which isn't a whole lot, but they also give me some more character shards, and I could potentially get another Ultimus orb out of this with uh, you know, the other Ultimus orbs orb fragments I may get from upgrading characters. So this is all really important, just trying to 
put this together so I don't have to waste my red star orbs, which I want to save for Black Bolt and Yo-Yo. All right, uh, Blitz orbs. Uh, here, here's another uh, secret I just learned about. Um, open multiple orbs at once. Woo, there's an option, advanced options. It makes your life so much easier when you have a million orbs to open. All right, there's some more ultimate shards. We're going to do this. We're going to open these Blitz orbs. Open X10, yes. And let's see how this looks. There's five uh, rescue is the only thing I need out of this, and then 48,000 gold out of it. Not bad. Let's do that again. And let's see. So we got no rescue that time, unfortunately. Um, so that's 20 orbs at two apiece. So that's another 20 points. Let's do another 10. <clears throat> so we're at 3287. And then we'll open the last eight. Oh, there's a couple rescues. That's nice. All right, 15 rescue out of that. All right, so let's go back here. Let's hit the milestones again. Orb avalanche milestones, 3303. Much better, 3303. But we need to update our numbers and see where are we. So we have zero blitz credit or blitz orbs, and we have zero raid orbs. So potentially only 120 points from red star orbs, which I'm trying to avoid. But I could get uh, 200 points from upgrading these guys. And let's see, what else could I do? I could also get, let's see, uh, I also could get quite a few from my arena credits if I wanted to. And I think I will. So let me show you these. Um, oh, well, there's another Ultimus Orb. So that saves us a little bit. Let's just go ahead and pull that right now. Let's see what we get. There's some more Ultima Shards, of course. So 270, we're at 1482, that's not bad. Uh, but that is another 20 points towards the milestone, so 3323. And we need 327 is the magic number now. <laughs> All right. Um, so let's do uh, some, let's figure this out. So Let's see, what do I have here? Oh, it's these stupid things. Keep popping up. I need tons of Mystic gear, so I've just been pulling Mystic gear. But this doesn't count towards your orb milestones, unfortunately. Um, am I missing anything? No, I just have a bunch of milestone orbs saved up. And then red stars. And then I do not have any other gear orbs available. I've used them all. And let's do... Um, okay, so for Kingpin's orbs i've actually been really surprised at how decent the gear is it's really not that bad uh you're getting five abcs for 675 rate arena credits that's not so bad um at least as far as i i can see that's you know not terrible so if i open up a couple of these um you can see here another five abcs uh they really fixed these orbs to make them more useful uh <laughs> You get a lot of materials out of them and not as many kingpin shards. So, oh, that's nice. Um, but as you open these up, and unfortunately you can only do them one at a time. Ooh, there's three oranges. That's pretty good. Um, you'll get a few points here and there. So now we're up to 33, 35. And you can keep updating your totals as needed. So 315 is what I need. And just to show, um, I can still get 200 points for my Ultima shards so I'm thinking that's probably my way to go here is uh, those kingpin orbs are not going to help a ton um, they're just kind of filler so if I do that uh, let's see where are we at now um, so I can definitely get it now I can definitely get it between Ultima's orbs and my um, red star orbs at minimum and then I could also blow some Blitz credits and Arena credits to get the rest. So that's really where you want to be, is within reach of what you need. And figure out exactly, you know, uh, what, you, what, what points you need to get to the next milestone. And then just pull the stuff you got and use it. Because, you know, there's no point in hoarding it anymore. We know that this milestone is probably not going to be around. Or at least this one's not, nothing like it is going to be around for quite some time. So 
you might as well get in there get as much as you can and get out and if you're you know a little bit short you need to buy a couple of orbs with you know cores with through offers go for it uh it certainly is probably worth it if you're hitting those tier 14 gears or you know a red star upgrade on somebody so this went a lot longer than i expected <laughs> I've been, uh taking my time getting through this but i just wanted to kind of wrap that up uh show the update to the um Orb Milestone Calculator, which you're welcome to copy from my spreadsheet, uh, which I'll link in the description here. But if you have questions, you know, comment, let me know. Um, but I think that, you know, if you're sitting on tons of shards for some characters, those Ultimus Orbs are probably your cheapest way to get a lot of points and not waste it, right? You know, getting characters to seven stars isn't a total waste. Um, there's certainly something to be said about this game when it comes to progression. Uh, but using up those shards that you have in your inventory, I mean, it doesn't hurt, right? It's it's going to cost you some gold, but I think the rewards are generally worth it. This is, this is a lot of good stuff here. So keep that in mind, and uh, just let me know if you have any questions. But otherwise, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.